Kimmy. Welcome to Kimmy B TV. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can become a roomie. Turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And if you're true to this, not new to this, then hey, roomie, what's up? a desk i'm looking for a desk right but i came in here and this couch is so cute i i did i was thinking about replacing my couch um because it's a little small i wanted a little bit bigger this gonna look like it's the same size but i could tell that it's a little bit bigger so look and it's great this is the kind of couch that i originally wanted the first time so it's a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper than the couch I got at home. And it's only 950. Okay, y'all, quick little cozy fit check of the day. It is cold and rainy. Well, not cold, but cool and rainy today. Um, I'm about to go run some errands. So I just want it to be cozy and cute. So, yeah, that's what we got going on today. We are, I like to get some gas first because if we don't, we ain't going nowhere. Um, <laughs> and then um, I'm probably gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm gonna go to like this little pavilion that got like a bunch of stores because I am looking for a desk still um, and some other stuff actually. So yeah, we just gonna be out browsing today. Ugh, I need to clean this. What is this? This random spot. <sighs> anyway, yeah, y'all, let's go. Why? This is not full. Why did this not fill my tank up? Like, let me tell y'all something. I typically like don't really conform to the whole gender role thing. But there are two things um, that I just feel like for sure is a man's job. Number one is taking out the trash. I can't stand taking out a damn trash. Take it out the trash and pumping gas. P like, why am I pumping gas? I mean, ain't no man in the car with me right now, so that's why I'm pumping gas. But irritated. But you know, like why? Because the cost of living is too damn high out here. That's why. Anyway. We about to go, y'all. I'm excited because I just made it to my destination. And honestly, I forgot. It's been a real long time since I've been over here, right? And I forgot all the different stores that's over here. They got an at-home store over here. I forgot that they had an at-home. I really was coming over here to go to Hobby Lobby um, and maybe Michael's. But they got an at-home store. So hopefully I can pick up some curtains because I was trying to order some curtains off Amazon this morning. And it was like they weren't going to be here until Tuesday. And... I'm a little impatient, so I can get it today. That'd be great. Um, but I'm about to go in this store called Bargain Hunt. I, I ain't never been in Bargain Hunt. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what they got in there. But I'm about to go in there. I'm going to go to Bargain Hunt. I'm going to go to Big Lots. And I'm going to go to At Home because they all like right here next to each other. Anyway, let me start rambling. Let's go ahead and get in the store because I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Hopefully, I find what I'm looking for because honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for no more. Okay, first of all, y'all, let's get it. Let's first of all, before I go ahead and just be spending money that I don't need to be spending, let's get a list together. Kim, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a desk. I'm looking for a desk, and I'm fine if it's one that I have to like refurbish. Um, but I, I'm looking for a desk. I'm looking for some fabric. That's why I need to go to Hobby Lobby. Um. what else some kitchen stuff oh curtains kitchen stuff curtains a desk and fabric for these chairs
I just feel like it should not be this hard to find some curtains, y'all. Like the curtains I already got at home, they're 84 inches. So I need either 96 or 108. All of these curtains are 63 or 84 and none of them the right color. So I guess I'm really just gonna have to order them off Amazon for real, for real. So, first of all, it's getting colder. The temperature is definitely dropping. So, I just realized my little jean jacket is in the back. So, I'm about to put this on real quick. Um, But, y'all have been out here for like three hours. And I've really only been to those three stores that was in that same little area. It ain't, maybe it ain't been three hours, but it's for sure been two hours. Um, So, I just saw this little store that I've been seeing all over TikTok called Pop Shelf. I'm about to go pop myself in here. I don't need nothing out of here. So I hope I don't buy nothing out of here. I just want to go browse around and see what the store is like. I think it's supposed to be like a five below type store. And y'all know I low key love a little five below situation. So um it's if y'all can hear, it's raining. Like and the rain not letting up. I was like, oh, today probably gonna be like one of those just little sprinkle drizzling days. Nah, baby. It's raining. Like real life raining. And it's cold and it's windy so the, the rain ain't even falling straight down it's falling sideways so really the umbrella is a little pointless but but i'm gonna keep my umbrella with me because i'm cold and i don't want to be soaking wet i need to put this stuff in the bed i need a little retail therapy if you saw my vlog from earlier this week i've been having like a real moody off-putting week i'm I'm better though. I'm better today though. Like my mood is a lot better today. I'm fine. But I need some retail therapy because this week really took a toll on me. Hopefully this retail therapy don't take a toll on my bank account though. Hmm. Anyway, come on, let's go. Um, I popped in and popped right back out of pop shelf. It was real cute in there, but I, I didn't really need to be in there. I didn't need nothing in there. So I, I looped around the store real quick, looked at everything. It was like, oh, it looks cute. It smelled really good in there. Um, And then I left. But so I finally made it to Hobby Lobby. So I'm about to go in here and look for some fabric because I want to reupholster these chairs that's in my living room because the little chair covers that I got from Amazon, they is not doing it for me. They don't stay down. Um, so I want to see if I can do a little DIY and reupholster the chairs. Y'all don't know what the hell I'm doing. I probably should watch a video before I go in here and make sure I can buy everything. But I feel like I should just be able to get fabric, stretch, stretch and shape the fabric to the chair and then staple it in place. I feel like that sounds simple enough, right? Mm. I'm kind of like getting, not sleepy, but like lazy. Yeah like lazy like i really want to go get cozy in my bed this this that's how i'm feeling but okay hobby lobby shoppers world forever 21 food that's the plan okay y'all hobby lobby shoppers world what you need to go in the shoppers world for Karen? you already got sheets you still need to look for some curtains maybe they got curtains in there and honestly, I would make my own curtains if I had a sewing machine. Is there another way to make curtains? I saw somebody do like the little tape method. But I think they still had to, they end up still ended up having to sew. What if I could do like some curtains with buttons? Like cut the flaps and fold it over and button the flap and then I bake the loop for the curtain rod. Do Hobby Lobby sell curtain? Let's just go in here. Let's just go in here and figure it out. Then.
awesome. I just got me some sushi from this place called, uh, what is that? Tokyo Hibachi and Sushi. And I got the volcano roll. I got a volcano roll. Um, damn, what else? Volcano roll, Tokyo roll, and two spring rolls. This is what it look like. Now, they ain't give me the sauce like this. I hope y'all can see this. But it looked good. I had to get the sauce. And after I got it, I realized they ain't had no damn lids over there. Damn. It's buzzing. It better have been buzzing because that line was super thick. It's a bunch of people in there. So let me tell y'all what, what's on here. I really don't even know which one this is. I'm trying to see if I can tell from the taste. Okay. So the Volcano Roll has salmon, cream cheese. I'm going to regret that. Salmon, cream cheese, crab, and it's deep fried with a spicy mayo and eel sauce on top. And then I got the Tokyo Roll. The Tokyo Roll, okay, so this is the Tokyo Roll that I'm eating now. The Tokyo Roll got shrimp tempura, snow crab, topped with salmon tempura, avocado, and special sauce. Um, And then, you know, regular, regular spring roll. So the Tokyo Roll is hitting. It's hitting. Let me see, I got some white spicy sauce. Yeah. This busting. This is what I say this was this the volcano roll. Volcano roll. I feel like I always get volcano roll everywhere I go. Anytime I go get sushi. Yup. I like volcano roll. And I like tiger rolls. But everybody tiger roll don't be the same. Oh, I like um dragon rolls too. So I'm about to dip the volcano roll in the sauce. Yeah, this blessing. Okay, y'all. So, honestly, I'm all shopped out, right? Like, I'm low key annoyed now or, or a little aggravated because this rain, child, the rain with my butt. Look, breaking people umbrella and stuff. But there are two Goodwill locations over here by where I am. So, since I'm already out, and they both like, well, one of them is five minutes. The other one is like 15, 16 minutes, but it's going back in the direction that I need to go. Um, So, it's not really going out the way. This this sushi spot was really out the way. This was going in the opposite direction, but I looked on the website, and it looked like it was good. So, I decided to come to this one. Um... Anyway, what else I am? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go to both of the Goodwill because we're still looking for a desk. But let me tell y'all something. If I don't find no desk in this Goodwill, I'm gonna just go to IKEA and buy it, y'all. Cause I don't, I don't got time. I don't got time. This spring roll a little musty. They got. Onions in it. Yeah, it's a little musty, child. Mm. This was a I'm this was a good choice. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. But no lie, this sushi probably done made this shopping trip worth everything at this point. 
the sushi good, the ro the spring rolls good. I ain't getting nothing to drink, not a damn beverage. But yeah, the food was busting, y'all. I just needed something to hold me over. I needed to taste test a little bit of everything. So yeah, let's go to Goodwill. All right, we're gonna have to take an L on this one. I decided that I'm not going to no more stores tonight. It's, it's dark, uh, it's getting dark, it's rainy, and it's cold. This wind is whooping my butt with this umbrella. I'm about to go home so I can finish eating my sushi. I'm gonna give y'all a haul and I'm gonna get in my bed. I really supposed to be going out tonight, but the people that I'm supposed to be going out with, they've been MIA all day, so. I don't really know if that's gonna happen. Um, and I done broke a nail while I was out. So yeah, it's time to wrap this show up and go home. Definitely, but for now, the decision is final. That, that was supposed to be like the gavel. <laughs> anyway, I'm going home. All right, y'all, bye. Okay, roomies. So I'm back home. Um, I'm about to give y'all a haul with everything that I bought because everything that I picked up, I did not necessarily buy. And some of the stuff that I did buy, I didn't even show me picking it up. So I'm just gonna give y'all a haul of everything that I purchased. I'm gonna try to go store by store. Um, so let's start with Hobby Lobby. That was the last store that I went to. And child, the amount of money that I spent at Hobby Lobby really surprised me because I didn't get nothing. So I spent 80, 46. Really, we just gonna count it as 70, wait, hold on. Yeah, 70, 46, because um, one of the things that I got wasn't for me, it was for my friend, and she sent me the money to get it for her. She was just, I was just looking for it for her. Um, so I spent about $70 at Hobby Lobby. So the first thing I got were these little like fan flower things. They're so cute, right? I got these and I got these gray flowers and I want to put them in that vase over there that's on the TV stand just to, you know, add a little height, a little dimension, right? But so before I started recording, I went over there and set in the vase and they too tall, so I'm going to need to break the stems or cut them or something. I'm going to need to make it shorter. And these were $24.99 each, but they were half off, so they were like $12. And this is eleven ninety nine. This was also half off, so this was like five six dollars. Um, so I got these, and then I got the fabric, and I ended up going with flannel material because I was trying to get it to match this. I don't know if this is flannel, but I feel like this is a pretty good match to me, anyway. Um, and I got three and a half yards of this and it was $24.46. It was not half off, which I was surprised about and disappointed, but whatever. Um, I got some letters because, excuse me, I got some letters because the other letters, you know, for the DIY decor books that I did, I didn't even see these on this side. Um, the DIY decor books that I did, I wanted to get some smaller letters to see if I can maybe try to put them on the book. So I got these. Um, this was what I had got from my friend. And I got the little staple stapler, heavy duty stapler um, to help me try to reupholster these chairs. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch like 36 videos before I go and try to do this. Um, so y'all see, this one, two, three, four, five, five things from Hobby Lobby, and it cost me seven, five, six, six things. Seventy dollars. I don't like that. Bargain, bargain hut, bargain hunt. Bargain hunt, it's not bargain hut. Okay, so in bargain hunt, I spent forty three eighty seven. Um, this was the first store that I went into. I, I don't think I've ever been or even seen a bargain hunt. So when I went in there, I was like, oh, okay, we gotta try something new. Um, so they had these meal prep containers. This is a 20 pack, right? 20 pack and they are divided into three sections. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about these. I can get back to my meal prep like I'm supposed to. Um, these were $10. And then 
I found some sheets. Are these the right ones? Did I mean to get these ones? I think I meant to get the other ones, but I think I got these because these were cheaper. These were uh, $15. They're king size sheets. It says Imperial Collection. King, king sheet set. 200 thread count. Um, cotton rich. Deep pockets fit up to 14 inch mattress. Um, Y'all, I really don't have like what the material is for these. Um, well, I guess it says cotton, child. Say it's cotton. But I feel like you can never have too many sheets. You can never have too many sheets. I change my sheets a lot. Um, so these are gray. It's like a taupey gray. So hopefully I'll match the weird one, actually. Um, yes, yeah, so I got these. These are 15. Ooh, relax, Kimberly. And then, is that all I got? Yep. And then I got these little... Y'all already really don't even know what they are. They they were just cute, so I got them. Um, these little gold thingamabobs. They like houses or pillars or something. Um, so these two were six dollars, and this one was four dollars. But I got these. I need to wipe them off. They're a little fingerprintish. Yes, I got these. And that was all I got at Bargain Hunt. I'm gonna do at home. So at home, I spent $56.67. Um y'all, this this shopping trip really turned into a kitchen shopping trip. That was not necessarily the goal or the plan when I left out the house today, but I ain't mad at it. So I got um, this knife and shear set. It was $11.99 and it's gray. They're stainless steel with soft touch handles and nonstick. Okay, cool. Cause I was about to look at this and be like, these don't look like real blades. But they real. They better be real. Um, I got a new little cutting board set. I actually don't remember if I already have cutting boards. I know I have one that's like glass, but I think I wanted to get rid of that one. Um, so yeah, I got these cutting board sets and this was eleven ninety nine. Also, I figured, you know, since I was out getting kitchen stuff, I might as well get kitchen stuff. So I got um a non-stick bakeware set. And these are just cookie pans, different size. It's a three pack. And this was $19.99. Um, I also got the this tong set. It's a two-piece tong set, and it was ten dollars. Well, $9.99. I'll never do the 99 stuff. I always just round up. Um and then, oh, look what I found. It's a little camera. Isn't it so cute? So I got this. This was $12.99. Um, and then I got a little uh, spoon rest holder thing because child, the way my stove be looking when I be cooking, it be a mess. So I just got this little spoon breast holder and this was um $7.99. Um big lots, cause big lots ran my pockets up a little bit. But I still didn't get a whole lot of stuff. So at Big Lots I got this um damn, they heavy. Um this ceramic dinnerware set is a 12 piece set, so it comes with a bowl, uh the Four bowls, four dinner plates, and four dessert bowls, or four dessert plates, or something like that they call it. What is it called? Dinner plate, dessert plate, and bowls. Yes, yeah, so I got this. Now, in the clip, you're going to see me, like, going back and forth on if I wanted this or the gray set that was kind of, like, rounded. And I told y'all, like, I have a thing for, like, lines and stuff, so... I, I really do want square dishes. Like the square dishes that I originally wanted, I was gonna order off Amazon and they were like squared. 
like seriously squared. These are still kind of like rounded and squared. Um, but yeah, so I ended up choosing to get these versus um, the gray ones just because of the shape. That was literally the only thing. Oh, and that, and because, child, I don't need, I do not need a 16 piece dinnerware set. I, don't nobody be over here. Don't nobody be over here. I don't need that many plates, bowls, cups, dishes, and all that stuff. I'm trying to, I'm trying to take it out so y'all can see what it looks like. So we can see what it looks like for real. Let me put it down before I drop it. So this is what they look like. They're sturdy. This is cute. This is a cute little bowl, cute little cereal bowl. Um, and they are dishwasher safe and microwavable, microwave safe. So that was a plus because I wasn't gonna get no dishes that wasn't microwave safe because I'm a microwave girl. I will I will warm some leftovers up. Okay, I will make a a, a meal in the microwave. My oatmeal, yeah, we gonna microwave that. My steamable vegetables, yeah, we gonna microwave that. Like. I'm a microwave girl, so I need my dishes to be microwave safe. Um, and though I have vowed to not use that dishwasher no more because I don't feel like it really be getting my stuff clean anyway, I might use the dishwasher again. So I need to make sure that dishwasher safe. Um, another thing that I was in between was the pot and pan set. So the pot and pan set that I already have is not even a set. It's like one skillet and one frying pan or something like that, a saucepan. And I got it from Target, um, but they are gray and they're ceramic. But while I was at Big Lots, I saw a black and white set and I just thought it was really, really cute. And I really wanted to get it, but I didn't. I ended up going with the gray and black one. So I got this and the deciding factor was that it came with um, um, the little this. This stuff, the little uh, utensils. It came with the utensils. I mean that and the color, but it came with the utensils because the color was almost throwing me off because it almost looked a little purple. Like a, a tad bit purple. Here are the utensils. Great, cute, love them. Because I really needed new utensils already. These are already like the, like the same ones that I have, but they're newer, so I'll be throwing the old ones away because they fall in part and they ready to child. And in some places, they a little melted. They a little melted, so. I'm just gonna take one out because that was a lot to even get this one little bit in Okay, yeah, this is cute. So it's non-stick. Yeah, non-stick. It says it's aluminum though. Mm, I really wanted it to be ceramic, but whatever. Um, It's gray and black on the inside. So this is really cute. This top clearly don't go to this pot, but they all come with lids. They got the black handle and like the stainless steel um, hardware type stuff. So, and these are also dishwasher safe and oven safe <clears throat> up to 350. Hmm. I mean, technically, yo. Pot's not really supposed to go in the oven anyway, so I guess that's fine. Oven safe. Um, they mean like inside the oven, not the stove top. Inside the oven, up to 350. So that's cute. Um, should we go put this stuff up in the kitchen? I think we should. Okay, but I'm tired because I feel like this is gonna cause for me to have to reorganize reorganize some stuff in the kitchen. And I already feel like doing that right now. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I really thought I was done, but I'm not, I forgot something. Um, And this is also from Big Lots. I got a new shower curtain liner because I like to change my shower curtain liners every couple of months and it's time to change it. Um, And then I got some new silverware. Isn't this cute? It's, they're black. Um, and I really, this time around, I really did want black silverware. Um, these are stainless steel. Um, I don't really like the texture part on it. Like, I just wanted it to be flat black. Um, but they didn't have that. This thing, hold on, because maybe this is why 
why it cost so much. Cause these this say it was thirty two dollars. Was it thirty two dollars? Cause Kimberly, not trying to pay thirty two dollars at Big Lines when we could have got it off Amazon for like twenty. Where's the receipt? Um. Anyway, so I was on my way over to the kitchen to put the stuff up in the kitchen, right? But then I realized that in order to put the stuff up, I need to wash all of it. And what I'm not about to do is hand wash it. So we're going to go load the dishwasher with all of these new trinkets, gadgets, and gadgets for the kitchen. That's what we're going to do. We're going to load the dishwasher. And then tomorrow, we'll probably put it away. I'm not even going to hold you because I don't feel like it now. Alright y'all, so now that everything is unpacked, I'm about to load it in the dishwasher. So I'm glad I read the packaging before I dispose of it because these need to be hand washed. It's a like hand wash only um, for these. So I will wash these by hand. Um, and so this is what they look like. They are stainless steel, but they're like gray. How cute is that? I don't really like this speckles on it if you can see. I don't really like the speckles on it but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah I'm just put these in the sink and wash these. Pictures, you know. And then I'm going to attempt to cut these. Now these don't really look like they can be cut, y'all. Okay, I forgot both of them cut. dishwasher is extra loud right now so I hope y'all can hear me okay so I think I wanna okay. Okay, so this is the sand and I got this from Dollar Tree And then we're gonna put, I'm trying to make sure everything's dry. And then we're gonna put it away. We're gonna put everything away. Um, and I don't know where I'm about to put these dishes because y'all saw in my kitchen organization video that the, 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 the pantry, the cabinets is already full of dishes. So, this is about to require a little finesse. I feel like anyway. Okay, so I'm not 
completely sure that I want to throw away the the cutlery that I already have. Um, so for now, I'm gonna just add these and make a wood chip. Okay, Romy, so that is the end of this vlog. Go ahead and leave me a comment below if you like this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a big thumbs up. And go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can become a Romy. Turn your post notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And most importantly, don't forget to share this video with your mom, baby, sister, brother, cousin, and your best friend. Till next time, y'all, I'm out.